Here it is. Anyway, sorry about that. Heard a noise and I had no idea what was going on. Okay, nope. No, can't go over here, okay. What was that? Oh, an enamel bucket, sorry. <laughs> I, I read that as an enema bucket and I was like, eh, okay, excuse, excuse me, number one, I thought it was a bag. Number two, a bucket? Open this. <laughs> Please tell me that's the bucket it goes into, because... <laughs> I feel bad for the person who's taken the bucket. Ice cold. Ugh, fucking, I hate this game. Ice cold Nuka Cola sitting on the ground, probably been in here for fucking years. Sweet. What the? <laughs> Nobody cares, Ada. Okay, I gave Ada a bunch of shit. Um why I the mechanist have made my solemn vow to protect the innocent to put an end to people like you I I don't think you know what I do I'm not a nice person and I still do a lot of good stuff so fuck you Oh I heard legendary It's always a nice thing to see Just means you put a lot of heart Oh fuck the I missed Held the wrong button there. There we go. Yeah, not really the weapon I need. <laughs> I guess I should be using right now. Great, he's gonna aim at me. Oh my fucking god, I'm almost dead. God damn. Fuck, I thought this web- I thought this thing I had had so much fucking damage resistance to it. No, fuck you. Really? Okay. I don't know why I pressed that again, I'm just... Ooh! Chinese officer sword? Poisoner. It poisons targets. <laughs> oh, sorry. For some reason, my brain was thinking it was one of the fucking, um... The electric swords. Fuck you, man. Eat my dick. Okay. Cool. <laughs> well, that was fun. Hey, to get your ass back in the gear. Jesus Christ, man. Fuck, and I thought, I thought my armor was good, man. I thought I was having defenses for day- wait, what? Okay, no, I do. <laughs> for some reason, I thought it was being like, oh, you only have like 25 power, and I'm like, excuse me? Or sorry, 125. Let's see. Okay, cool. You know, Aiden, I give you cool stuff, but uh, I don't think I have the scrap for it, sadly. All right, let's see what's in here. Oh, yay, Rad's up the wazoo. That's what I needed. You know, it's funny, in the beginning I talked about getting a bunch of uh, fusion cores from these guys, and uh, it has not really happened. Anyway, power substation terminal. Uh, Epsilon 6 security system alert. Oh, so that's about the stuff below. Okay, what a waste. I've been down here almost four months now, and I'm already getting bored. I thought it would be exciting to sign up and work for robotics programs, but when I finally got my department assigned, I almost quit. Four years of electron engineering school, and they have me babysit a bunch of g generators. I can strip a Mr. Handy or Protectortron down to sit to its base parts in under two hours, and they stick me here? What a goddamn waste of time. Cunning plan. Okay, so this dude wants to put a smoke machine down here so people don't have to go all the way up top, and then since it'll give him an excuse to say hi to the ladies, so... Obviously an upstanding citizen, this guy. Uh, Brandon McDaniel? Or is that the... Is that the thing? Nope. Brandon McDaniel. Okay, so someone's complaining about the smoke. He thought it was because they were jealous, and it turns out he just wants a cut of the pay. He doesn't care about the smoke. Oh, we got official approval for the cigarette machine. Nice. I'm pretty sure the free cartons that found their way into the general's desk have, uh, have had something to do with it. Now, banks can't do a goddamn thing about it. 
and he isn't getting a single penny. It looks like the electrical, this electrical engineer just came out on top for once. All right, where's that body at? Let's see. <laughs> I'm sure you're on top, buddy. You just part of the problem, man. Anything good over here? You know, it'd be cool if they actually had, like, cool stuff around here. Might as well take a red X, fuck it. Oh, hey buddy, what's up? He just kind of stood up and looked at me and it was like, you know, I'm just not in the mood. Today's just not one of those days for me. Oh, power armor spot, nice. Get some healing on your armor. I've, I've never used those, honestly. Which really shouldn't be too hard, especially for here, because you get so much steel here, you should be able to do it no problem. Gotta say, this place is pretty huge. Somehow that robot doesn't have any, uh... <laughs> doesn't have any spare parts inside of it. Oh! Oh my god! Caught reloading again. There we go. What in the hell, man? This guy must have been hit me from behind. It's the only excuse, goddamn. Don't you have a gun on you? Oh, here we go. I forgot if I said it out loud, but I was just focusing on the fusion cores. God, how much critical is that? I know it helps with the critical gauge, but damn, that was a... Uh, that was a lot. I wonder if it does it per hit. Like, imagine only three bat shots with this thing, and that will automatically get me my critical. Jeez. Surprised there isn't more. I know I just took Red X, but surprised. Oh, no, here it is. Okay. I was just blind. That's all. I can't tell. Is that the floor we were just on? I think so. Oh. Facility management terminal. Uh, unit tasks. This is from a Tony Delano. Uh, scrap retrieval, status aborted, repairs, ongoing, okay, etc. Just tasks, repair orders. Protectatron, uh, experiencing voice distortion. Uh, that's probably the one they were talking about. Wait, is it all robots here? I was thinking some of them were the, the, the robot brain type stuff. All right, and copper wire. Is that material? Yeah, facility requests. Okay, so nothing special. Just basic stuff, which I don't mind. There's nothing wrong with making it... Oh my god. Yeah, sure. Well, it's nice of you to fist all those people's uh, skulls in. I'm sure they appreciate that. I get your ass over here. All right. Oh, this seems like, uh, well, at least to me it seems like the end, I don't know. Could be wrong. <laughs> Can you not sit straight? <laughs> I'm afraid of heights. Oh, oh, it bothers me so much, even as a robot. Oh, damn it. Apparently I need to reload all my fucking guns. These need to, like, automatically reload when you, like, uh, go to bed or some shit. You know what I'll do? No, not that one. Oh my god, I got scared there for a second. It was pushing us off and we were gonna fall. Yay, Red X is gone. Oh, whatever, big deal. No, this this isn't the one I wanted. Where's the... Yeah, here we go. Fucking love this baby. Open this. <laughs> Can't imagine fucking Ada falling down and then you're like, yeah, whatever, I don't need her. And then you get up to the door and you're like, I made a terrible mistake. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's the... There's another door. Yeah, that definitely feels like Mr. We're getting to the end. Yep, no way to get in there. That just kind of looks like more of the, uh... The building aspect of this place, though. The robot shit.
Alrighty then. Anything good in here? Remind you of brighter days, sir? Uh, no. Not really. Personally, I was never in a lab in the fucking bottom of- Ooh, what's this? Ooh, a password. Nice. I wonder what the password's for. Probably for the elevator. And that one spot that leads up here or some shit. Anyway, this one is from... This one doesn't... Holding block at watch station. Okay. Another set of subjects to us today. I don't know what these men and women did to deserve being sent here, but since they were transferred from civilian penitentiaries, I can only assume that they're the worst society has to offer. I don't think these people have any idea what's about to happen to them. One thing's for sure, these prisoners would have been better off serving their time elsewhere. See, something like this just seems like the most terrible idea to me. Man, some of these people are fucked up in the head. Let's harvest their brain and use them for robots. What the fuck, dude? I'm starting to hear rumors around the block that I that I don't like. Esteban uh, told me that he overheard two of the eggheads saying that the prisoners are having their brains cut out of their heads or something like that. Y don't you make robo brains? Am am I <laughs> am I misinterpreting this? I know they're running uh, experiments on these inmates and they're pretty intense, but I don't know they're, why they're literally cutting them open. <laughs> you should. Where do you think the brains are coming from? I don't know how I feel about that. I joined the military because I wanted to serve my country and protect my fellow Americans. I guess I'll keep that to myself for now. Ooh, the prisoners are talking about rioting. So these are some of the test subjects that they're talking about that they're not allowed to get out, probably because they are killers, but still. I was thinking, like, when it was saying subjects, I thought they were maybe just talking about the the spies. Ooh, this guy's gonna tell them that the things are wrong. Mm, I don't know. I don't think you realize they don't care. Oh shit, the dude who was, I guess, not this guy, but the dude who wasn't gonna rise up got kicked out and I think you're having him scrub toilets at Anchorage. <laughs> Put me in charge of the cell block and inmate Gamma 9... Uh, oh, and I initiate Gamma 9 status. After two days, the threat of rioting has ended and everything is back to normal. The brass gave me the go-ahead to start sending people to the medical section. And everything is proceeding as planned. If we have any hope of beating the enemy at their own game, we need to get these robots online. Oh boy. Fucking selling your moral morals right out the window. What are ethics, man? Who cares what happens to a few lousy inmates? I told Broadwick he needs to fall in line, but he wouldn't listen, of all people. I would have expected him to understand that the needs of the many outweighed the needs of the few. <laughs> Humanity, what's that? <laughs> Sorry, you're gonna have to find my humanity in a uh, hide-and-seek game. Which is in Anchorage, apparently. Oh, oh my god. Holy shit. Well, at least we get a nice good look at this. wonder if we got any notes in here. Got it. Anything good? Oh my god, they're ghouls. What in the hell? I see what the experiments were then. Jeez, I thought these were just gonna be, like, uh, just skeletons down here, not ghouls. God damn, what the fuck is wrong with you people? <laughs> I know, I know, it's fucking <laughs> the military and businesses and Fallout and shit, but what the hell. Yes. That's weird that this is both a RoboCo uh, place and a, uh, facility, though. Like a government facility. Like, I get those exist, so it just seems kind of weird to me. Also, I'm surprised all these guys are dead. Sweet. Gangrious. Okay, so we got one of them. I knew as soon as I said that, this motherfucker was going to pop out and be a fucking uh, dude who was going to go nuts. See some cigarettes in there, so I'll grab those. But yeah, no, like, uh, I don't know. You, you would think, because if I remember correctly, ghouls just need radiation, right? But does that mean if they die, if they don't get radiation either? Or do they... Because I know they don't need food, technically. Like, it still hurts to starve. Well, at least these guys still got some cigarettes to smoke. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this guy's gonna be alive, too. I'm putting down two packs of cigarettes. Ha! You guys owe me two packs of cigarettes. How the fuck did this guy get a soda in here? <laughs> that just reminds me of that South Park episode where fucking Cartman's and Jim. What fucking outfit do you want, dude? There's no way that guy had that outfit this whole time. But no, it reminds me when uh, Cartman had to sneak in a fucking, fucking board game up his ass. 
I don't know what it is. There's just something about some of these guys that you know acid. The fuck? <laughs> God damn. Man, these prisoners get more things than we do in quarantine. Ayo. All right, so somebody who's a medical expert, tell me how someone gets addicted to buff out. Like, I see it more as like a steroid, but not something you would generally get addicted to. Well, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> I have to hand it to you, buddy. That's a nice trick. Ooh, another 45 rifle, plus 25 damage and damage and limb damage, but has more recoil. So is that damage overall, or what's going on with that? Seems a little confusing. <laughs> I mean, I guess it matches with the, you know, it. <laughs> if I just move him, does it? Yep. <laughs> uh, never changed Bethesda. I make that joke, but their games never will change. I, I don't know. I actually didn't talk about that. Uh, since I've started this, I, do, I think... Oh, hey, that's an easy way to sneak into these places. Um... Oh, hey, another uh, model. But no, uh, Bethesda, Bethesda got bought out by Microsoft. So they are, uh, more than likely it'll stay on PC, but people are talking about whether or not they're going to show, uh, show up on uh, PlayStation anymore. Which, to be fair, they kind of held exclusivity to a lot of PlayStation stuff for the longest time. Whether from the fault of Sony or uh, Microsoft uh, paying uh, timed exclusives. I remember uh, Skyrim DLC took forever to get to the PS3? Yeah, PS3. Anyway, Subject 82. This is a thing about the medical history of these guys. Convicted of serial killings in the D.C. area, not to be visited alone. Security personnel required for all interviews. Ooh, a higher brain function, but weak constitution. We've been giving him high-protein diet and started sessions of the electrotherapy. Okay, so probably a lot of the stuff we found in there was probably actually given to him by these guys. Just to see what it does. It shouldn't be long until his brain survival rate for the procedure is no longer at risk. So that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to test their brain to see how they can do better to be the, the robo-brain machines. Or be put in the machines. This guy was convicted for arson, burned down a courthouse, leaving three dead. Only per approach when sedated. Family medical history of dementia, brain health is likely to decline, or skew data. Recommend- yeah, like, that doesn't sound like a good test subject for this shit. Uh, convicted for murder of a waitress, prone to sudden outbursts of violence, recommended subject to restrained at all times or sedated, highly emotional, currently on a cocktail of antidepressants and anti-anxiety. Dr. Astafold is starting psychiatric sessions to further see if she's a good can- oh no, that's a she. Oh, that's right, gender. I don't know, I don't, uh, I don't see women, uh, just kind of, like, like, if a woman has an outburst, I don't mean to be mean, but, uh, I, just, I doubt that they- well, I mean, I don't know, I guess if you have a weapon, you could easily kill somebody. I just don't see it being as likely. Uh, convicted of second-degree murder while under the influence of alcohol. Second-degree murder? <laughs> don't get me wrong, he's an asshole, but he's not a a, a murder murderer, you know? It's, it's, a little, it's a little different, you know? It's a little bit closer to manslaughter than I feel comfortable with <laughs> experimenting on people. Uh, subjects display high intelligence and knowledge of tactics, slight signs of PTSD. Goddamn. All right. I think this is the last one. Ex-military convicted of second-degree manslaughter, assault resulting in hospitalization, later death of a victim. Yeah, see, we're getting the more... Oh, wait, no, what is that thing? Oh, no, what was that? Subject is highly intelligent and provided uh, mentally sound, approved for candidacy. Wonder if that's supposed to be the person in our thing. Anyway, before I go, I want to go down there first. Because I... Actually, no, that looks like that's something special. But I feel like something up here also leads to something special. We'll take a look just to see. Nope, it doesn't. Oh, that's cool, though. Cool. Okay, well, cool. Head down there, then. But yeah, what the fuck, man? Like, if, at least if you're gonna be an asshole and experiment on people, at least, at least, at least make it be worth it, you know? God, I wish there were more killers so we'd had more people to experiment on. Oh, Circuit Breaker, what is that? Uh-oh. What the hell? 
I missed one? Huh. Didn't think I missed one. Well, I got all of them. Well, I guess that's the quick way to do that. But you might have to deal with a few ghouls. I took the slow way because I'm no fun whatsoever. Do love this weapon. Uh. Oh, what the hell? Oh, here we go. Cool. Sorry, buddy. Oh, there's his brain. Okay. Wait, maybe not his brain. I don't know. The only reason I shot those is I figured maybe it wouldn't do it unless those were shot. Which makes sense narratively, but it's not something Bethesda do. Oh, yeah, that was one of the jokes I was getting. So, uh, Microsoft bought Bethesda, and people are like, damn, <laughs> Microsoft's gonna make Bethesda finish their games before they release them. But fuck, that means they have Doom, they have fucking, uh, you know, fucking, uh, the Elder Scrolls, Fallout, fuck. I gotta say, as much as I'm not a fan of big companies buying out smaller ones, I gotta say, and we are now decontaminated, I gotta say, that's probably one of the best purchases Microsoft has ever done, because I gotta be honest with you guys, I've never been a fan of Microsoft just because they don't have any exclusives, you know? I'm never like, oh damn, I gotta play that Halo. It's the only game that seems good, and now the Master now the master Collection's on fucking PC, so it's like, sure, it took me forever to play Halo, but, oh, what the hell? Uh, do-do-do-do-do-do. <laughs> uh, God, I love this uh, rave party, guys. <laughs> Actually, that seems like something you'd see at a science fair. Anyway, time to take all these drugs. I'm a big fan. I tell you what, caffeine? <laughs> After going through my semester of school, guys, caffeine? Mm -mm. Good shit. It sucks when you can't fucking taste it, though. God, I can barely taste cherry coke still. Dr. Pepper was pro- What the fuck was that? Septic? Oh, well, I'm- Glad you guys wrote it. Wow, wouldn't that label disappear by now? <laughs> what are we, 300 years in the future? But, uh, God, these lights are gonna make me fucking laugh. <laughs> but, um... Oh, it's a cylinder, okay. I forgot what I was talking about. But yeah, now that we got the Master Chief Collection, I mean, I guess all the games are now, are, aren't now on it yet. It's more of a as time goes on. I've heard some people don't like the multiplayer, like it's uh, not comparable to the original games, but honestly I plan on playing them for the story, so I do want to play that. I do, as I've been going through, I've realized I actually really enjoy shooters for the most part. You know, I'm not really a fan of the Call of Duty Battlefield type shooters, like they're fun, but I just think they're a little weird, but I do like playing, especially a lot of the old like 90s shooters. All right, technically late 90s, but 90s, 2000s era, etc. Good stuff. So, I, and I did, I did play Halo 1 and 2, and I really did enjoy those, uh, growing up. Anyway, Brain Extraction Workstation. Once again, thanks to equipment failures, we're getting pretty backed up in this department. Oh my god, we usually end up with a popped blade from splicing through a particular tough skull, or the hydraulics in the pulling arm seize up when the spinal cord isn't fully severed and the brain is pulled too early. I hope the Corelity doesn't yell at us again. This really isn't our fault. Ugh. So basically, because it's around the clock, they're using these machines that extract the brains. Uh, not too well. Oh, okay, I gotta read this. This seems like it's gonna be dark. We all had a pretty good laugh around the extraction department today. Anzel tried mixing some fresh bile gel with a little bit of grenadine and vodka and dared us all to drink it down. Turned out to be pretty good. Kind of thick and sweet with just the right amount of kick. We come up with a little game to try and name the drink. A whole bunch of stupid ones came, of course, but we finally settled on the Extractor Surprise Sunrise. Too bad we can't show with the other departments, but the bio gel costs like a thousand bucks a pint, and I don't think uh, Corelli would be appreciative of us drinking down some of her budget. Ugh. For a second there, when I heard there's a laugh, they had a laugh today. I figured they were laughing at some dude screaming in pain as they're digging in their fucking skull. <laughs> This was- today was Halstie's birthday, so we made him a brain-shaped cake. Fucking asshole. <laughs> That'd be so fucking- I can't imagine being- It's your birthday, here's a computer-shaped cake. Fuck you. Well, sort of. We actually just took one of the extracted brains and covered it with frosting. Of course we didn't tell Halstree that. The look on his face when he bit down on the slice we gave him was pretty hilarious. It was a de waste of a decent brain, a subject brain, but the prank was totally worth it. We really have some good times down here. I sincerely hope that they don't reassign anyone away from the department. 
We're working well together and our efficiency rating can't get much higher. What in the goddamn fuck, man? The I know they're some of these guys are killers, but these are people. <sighs> Motherfucker, man. Here, I'll read this. Basically, some dude complaining about what they're doing, and then, like, he eats somewhere with somebody else, and they go, how do you feel about it? Uh, how do you feel about pulling uh, from our test uh, subjects' heads ever bothered me? I told them that I, it didn't. I'm not sure why some of the people on this project are having problems with what they're doing. Maybe they should look for work elsewhere. Goddamn. Like I said, fucking out the window. Ah, excuse me. Imagine... Everybody, everybody, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about stuff today. Here are your morals. That's how you feel about your morals here, okay? Morals, bad. Trying to defeat China? Good. I guess Russia, too. I don't know. China seems to be the bigger threat when it comes to the Fallout games. I think I'm going the right way. Nope, I went this way. Okay. I know where I'm going now. <laughs> but yeah, no, China seems like the bigger threat in these games about this stuff. Anything good in here? See, you made this unique thing, and you didn't let it so I can get into it. That's stupid. God, how many fucking brains do they have? Oh my god. You know, this actually seems pretty fucking dark once you dig into this. What the hell did I see there? Was one of Ada's attack like a... Oh no, it's that thing. Okay. Motherfucker, man. Oh, that was perfect. That makes up for that fucking one that didn't work earlier. No, I meant to I meant to hit this one. Boom! Aw, oh, come on, bullshit. Alright. Alright, thank god. Oh, of course Ada's down. I'm behind here. You can't get to me. Alright. I hate to go with the classics, but. Kinda need to for these kind of robots. Okay. Ada? Over here. Sure. Can't get any of the other ones. Not sure if I read mini nuke there or like mini arm. Oh god, it's one of those fucking high fucking mark security systems. Here we go. Yeah, mark fives. There we go. Cool. Alright. Yeah, I, I kind of know that. I kind of killed the last one. Because you can't pull your damn weight around here. Mm. Can't tell if this is the right way or the wrong way. Oh my god, jeez. See, that's terrifying. See, I like these guys. I think these are new for this particular area. But yeah, I like that fucking crawling from the ground type robots. Like, that's such a cool design. Oh my god. Dude fucking drank himself to death. But I climbed up really high and then jumped off. Actually, that sounds like a bad idea. Like, if you're gonna climb up high, you need to climb up really high if you're gonna fucking kill yourself. <laughs> you wanna make sure it actually fucking, you know, kills you. Oh, security thing. I mean, to be fair, aren't there some weapons around here? These, gar these guys aren't exactly, uh... <laughs> these guys aren't exactly a whole OSHA thing, you know? Oh! Got the password for this one. Nice. Probably one of the things I... Oh, motherfucker. Ooh, view batch status? Oh, yay. A bunch more shit to read. Decommissioned. Stimulation passed. Extra... Okay, so... Okay, so this is talking about, like, the, uh... Yeah, the RoboBrain assembly. Stimulation passed. Extraction passed. Analysis passed. Insertion passed. Assembly completed. So this is about uh, how... If the robots have been completed or not. Passed, passed, completed... What was the first one? Do any of these break? Oh, passed, in progress, not available. Okay. So that's just talking about that stuff. And I still didn't open the damn door. I want to say this is probably one of the first keys I grabbed when I got here. I think I've grabbed two keys so far. You know, I'm, I actually I think it was the holotape password. Not that key key. All right, so when we get to the mechanist guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna get his underwear and I'm gonna give him a fucking wedgie because he's a giant ass nerd. So he needs to be bullied. 